Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. End of watch, movie, thoughts. Okay, I've already deeply risked my guy cred regarding these videos tonight, so I might as well talk more about Janet and Brian together. They're just, they are so cute together. They, when they're in the car and they're duetting that song and, and when they're dancing at the wedding and the whole thing is just I loved every moment of Janet just the the smile I gotta watch more movies with this actress I think I've seen her in something before but I, yeah it, I think it's also just this movie the way it the way she is in the movie the whole way through is just she's yeah, she's she's really adorable and they're really cute together. I think that's all I... So, moving from one area of sentimentality to another. Also at the wedding, the... That cop who's talking about his partner who took his bullet. Now, the, he, he was going to get killed. And his partner took the bullet for him, got in the way, and, and yeah, just the way he's talking about it, and this, it's, he's clearly not, I mean, we, we don't know how long ago it happened, excuse me, but he's, he's clearly, Excuse me, he's clearly not been able to cope with it. It's it's the kind of thing where you know when when he drinks, that's what he talks about. It's it's that type of of situation where he 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 compartmentalizes, he pushes it down because he can't constantly be talking about it, he can't constantly be thinking about it. But then when he drinks, out it comes and he can't deal with it, he can't cope. Because how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to cope with that? He's, he's clearly suffering from, from survivor's guilt, and you, you can't blame him. He, he doesn't... Yeah, he, he just can't get past it. And he's talking to these younger officers about this kind of... And, and yeah, it's just... Yeah, I, I thought that was really compelling it's to show that side of it as well. It, a lot of the film is kind of making it out to be that, that you know, I don't know, I guess you could say there's a lot of fantasizing glorification of, of the of the field of being a police officer, you know, they they get into a lot of situations where they're kind of having fun, you know, they're they're doing the chase and you know they they, they have like what is it, two or three car chases in the or the course of the film. They have the you know Mike fights that one guy, it was a Trey, and they'll I, I love when when Brian is trying to offer him the Dodgers tickets. I think it was Dodgers, some some sporting event. Yes, there goes the rest of the guy cred. And and Mike, Mike is like driving away quickly. Is is he gonna be? Is sitting there with with the with with Trey possibly spotting him and his wife there at this point? No, that's. Heck, they might have even had like four consecutive seats. So no, no, he doesn't want to give up those tickets to him. You know, even though he's you know mad at at, at Brian that he's not going to be there for you know because of 
Santa Barbara instead. <laughs> I love the thing with that, that he comes back, it, it was awesome. She's pregnant. <laughs> and they're like, you know, oh, yeah, she, she peed on a stick three times. That's doing it scientific, you know, you want to be sure. It, 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 stat, the statistical probability is now suggesting that yes, she is indeed pregnant. At, near the end, when you're thinking that he's going to die, that, that Brian is going to die, I'm thinking, oh man, she's pregnant with this kid and this whole thing. And, and of course it takes a while before you realize that Brian did survive and basically it makes sense. Mike was honest when he said, I've seen guys hurt worse than you, make it okay, you know, make, make it survive. And, you know, he wasn't plowed through with the AK, only Mike was, and that was just so, you just, they're near the end, you just feel like, oh man, it's, is it really going to happen? Are they really going to do it? And that's Iyer, he's not, he's not going to, he doesn't hold back. And after making us care so freaking much about, and, and there you see, you know, Mike's wife sitting there and, and, and crying the baby in her arms and and yeah just um, that that was really really hard and then of course they they ended on this this clip of them talking and it's this upbeat kind of thing and and again they're talking you know sex there's there's a lot of talk about sex in this. And it, it took him an astounding amount of time to make his wife hush up about their sex life. Maybe he was digging it, actually. and could explain it. And the, the thing about how the... You know, Brian playing, playing stupid with the idea, well, it's not a bad idea for you to constantly be ready to have sex. Well, it's, you know, okay, it's, I don't hate the idea, and, and then, you know, girls are constantly throwing it at, at police officers. It? What, what are they throwing? And, and the thing about the... Ah, well, I'll think of it later. And just... When, when they were at the hospital, and she's just given birth, and it's the thing, you know, how's, how's the baby? Like his, uh, like his mommy, cranky, wanting to strangle daddy. <laughs> and the thing about it, Mike constantly saying, "No, you're you're not holding him right. You're gonna hold it. You're gonna hold him like a football." And when Janet picked up the the kid, I was seriously thinking that Mike was gonna say, "See, this is that's how you're supposed to hold him," to to his wife. But I guess he felt like he she had <laughs> tolerated enough there. For, for that. Now, the, I think they called her Boot, the, the rookie. At first I just felt really bad about how, how they were being to her. It was like, she was, she was too slow about finding the, the right patrol car and there was just these various things that she was messing up and they, they were constantly on her about that, and then suddenly Van Hauser's sitting there with his with with a, a knife in his eye, and again that's what the movie doesn't hold back. That's yeah, that 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 happens in in a you know some people just don't want to be arrested, and that kind of thing will will happen and you were also you weren't expecting Van Hauser to leave the you know he was, he was this big tough guy you didn't think that he was gonna disappear from the movie but yeah he was taken out of commission with that you know, that with that eye he's not gonna be able to work like this and and she's she's like calling on on the radio and and they're yelling at her come on an address please we can't find and then they find her and and the 
you know, the, the big suspect dude is just wailing on her and says, I'm, I'm not resisting, I'm not resisting, and they get, and she's just destroyed in her face, and, and then, you know, they talk about, you know, she's, she, she's not coming back, and that house is not coming back, and, and you kind of, you, you understand, we don't know the exact details of what happened, and maybe it's unreasonable to expect that she could have subdued someone that big, but at the same time, it is... It's a tough job, and some people are not cut out for it, and, and she just wasn't. And it's, it's like the two other, the, the other two female cops say, she wasn't going to make it through, what was it, probation? something like that. The, she, she just didn't have it in her. And there is a certain a rate of, I, I don't know what it is for, for like South Central Los Angeles, but, but you know, in, in training, when, when you're trained to be a police officer or in the military, so there's a certain dropout rate. And she was just not cut out for it. She wasn't picking up the, the you know, the the routine and, and this stuff. I mean, she was kind of pathetic as she was going around trying to trying to keep up. And yeah, she, she couldn't you know, she she was just at his mercy. And if if Mike and Brian hadn't gotten there in time, she might have died because of that. So and and again that's where the movie's very honest about it. Very Yes, not everyone could make it in that kind of situation, and it's something to be very, you know, one is very grateful that there are cops out there who can actually handle the, the stress and the pressure. I doubt I could do it. I am not sure I have too much else. The third act, I already mentioned in the review, but yeah, it's just, it's just no longer credible. Um, they've got AKs. It's not far. There's like four of them, and they're shooting at two guys. I do not believe that they didn't hit them, even with like Brian's former Marine training and... You know, both of them ducking nice and fat. No, I just do not believe that they could so completely avoid being hit. And also the guy in the car, he did hit Brian, but it's just still, you know, he also had an AK. And it, again, wasn't that far. So it's just not entirely credible that they make it out so fine, but then I, I am glad that as hard as it hit me, the, the movie, I appreciate that at least it didn't, they didn't make it away from the game after that, you know, when, and when they're there, and, and he even tries to, to, to turn around and shoot real quick, because of course he is going to, he knows that they're going to shoot him no matter what, he might as well try to take out at least one of them, and they just take him out completely. And and that was where it regained some credibility. And also in that they then got shot down, that there wasn't like a big chase or some kind of thing. And that they were shot by the I mean, the cops had like assault rifle, I think, and presumably also handguns. I, of, of course they were going to be able to take out those four guys, and those four guys weren't at all covered. You know, the, the cops were hiding behind the, the the squad car doors, so, yeah. Now... I really like the, the bit where Jan is like going through his wallet. And she's like, she's talking to the camera saying, I hope you forgive me. 
he's gonna find out, obviously, and and like she's saying, you know, the numbers of the you know the the, the booty call note, and it, yeah, you're not gonna be needing that anymore, and the the handgun, and it's, you know, maybe I I've never tried to find one of these, maybe the next date, <laughs> and she's like holding it, you know, somewhat carelessly, and I I think she was. Not aiming, but pointing it at him. She, yeah, you're gonna need some gun safety tips before you handle that again, sweetheart. I think once he sees the videotape. Now the I like the various just man-to-man -man conversations between Mike and Brian. Brian talking about how he needs someone who's smart enough to keep up with him. Mike talking about how he needs to be sure that it's the real deal, that he's not going to break her heart, that he's sure that he wants to, for, you know, always be with her. I, I'm always thinking, yeah, love changes, relationships change, because you love her enough to, right now, to never want to, to, to not currently be able to imagine living out without her doesn't mean that it's always going to work out. That's not really the the kind of thing that you can expect to last. It, it should be more like, you know, have you known each other for a long time and do you know each other in the various different situations and are you ready to deal with the other person at their worst? Do you have good communication and such, but still, I, I like that they had these man to man, and you really, you really got into both characters. The yeah, I suppose that pretty well covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.